Hello everybody, it's me Major Graft and welcome back and today we are doing a much requested feature. We are finally going to be doing a tutorial for this uh, angel statue that has taken pride of place in the uh, gardens of my cathedral here as you can see uh, for a very long time. We're going to be showing you how to make this and as a bonus we're going to be giving you some ideas if you don't want to do a boring old stone statue for all of the different alternatives you can try out. So the first thing we're going to need is a base and that's really simple. We are going to just use uh, these here and do a three, uh, one, one, and then three to make a circle like that. So one, one, three, one, one, three, one, one, and then we're going to come up two in the next layer like that. Really simple. And there we go. And once you've done that, you're just going to finish off with some stairs all the way around like so. It's a bit faffy, but you know how to do this. Uh, so in and out and in and out, like that, all the way around until you've completed the entire of your base. Uh, you can of course seal this up completely if you want, it really doesn't matter what block you use for this bit because it's not going to get seen, but it might make the next step a little easier to do. Now you've got your base in, I thought the most straightforward way of showing you the body shape and all of the different blocks is actually to do it in stages and layer it up one by one. Uh, and just to make sure that you put each layer on the right position on the one below it, I've put a reference, uh, a reference block here so that you know uh, where each one sits. So as long as you pillar up on that same one for each one, you'll see uh, there, there, and there, and so on, uh, and make them go the right amount forward from that. I've put in blocks so that you can see them uh, really easily. That block there corresponds to exactly the middle block right in front there. So your first layer layer number one if you put two blocks up and then start building forward from there that is layer number one then we go up one that's layer two up one that's layer three and so on and that will get you all the way up to layer 23 there's 23 full layers that i'm going to show you right now so here we go as i've said i've laid out all 23 layers one at a time here so if you want to build this all you're going to need to do is pause every time you see a new number pause build that and then move on to the next number and then pause and build that i know it's going to take a little while but this was far less painful than going through each layer on the video which would have made the video like I don't know, 40 minutes long and nobody wants that. So hopefully you can follow this through. Watch out for what block types are being used. You will notice that on a lot of the layers there is cobble. That was just there from actually building it by hand in the first place. So you can miss out the cobble entirely if you want. You can leave it in if you want. It might help if you're building that in survival. It depends if you're doing it in survival or creative. But once you've got all 23 layers in, you should have the entire body from the bottom of the gown all the way up to almost the shoulders. And then we will put the shoulders and head on afterwards. And if you followed all of those steps nicely, you should have this. Uh, which is looking quite like what we're aiming for, but we need to finish this off and we need to do head and shoulders and wings. And they are really easy. We're going to do the head and shoulders first. We're going to do two and then three like that. And we're going to come in at the sides and pop in those like there. And then we're going to get some andesite and do two rows of three either side. Da, 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 da. And then you can choose whatever you like. Uh, um, I just used something different here. Uh, just to put the texture up, you could use some andesite stairs if you wanted, your choice. And you just do two that way and then one that way. And there we go. Now I told you wrong, actually, you need a three by two there and one more sticking out that way. And then what we're going to do is the middle two here, we're going to do upside down stairs like that. One there and one there like that. And once we've got to this bit, we're going to take our cobble and go to three more up. And we're going to do that all the way front to back like that and then we're going to put three more there like that let's add the sides of the head in now we're going to carry on with the cobble on top of these upturned stairs you're going to go three up all the way and then in the middle so there we're going to put one there like that then we can come back in with our uh, cobble stairs we're going to come back in with those cobble stairs and we're going to do an upside down one there and a right one there and then we're going to flip that around and do the exact same thing on this side 
And now, as you can see, we've got the shape of the head coming on nicely. We just need to put some features on the front. Uh, so we're going to come here and not on the first block, but the second block, we're going to do an upturned stair there like that. And then we're going to miss one out there. And on this level, we're going to do uh, a normal one like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and we're going to put an upside down one facing outwards like that and like that, which just makes the eye sockets. As you can see, it gives a suggestion of a face uh, without being too detailed. The problem with uh, Minecraft is that uh, even at this scale, if you try and put detail like a nose on, it does look a bit silly, as you can see. So less is more when you're detailing a statue like that. And then on top, we're just going to finish that off with the crown and pop in uh, two more like that. We're going to come in with the stone bricks, going to do a horseshoe shape like that. One more there and then pop in a uh, stair, stair and stair. And that's it all done. Our last and final job then is to get these wings on. And as you can see, they are actually, do you know what? Maybe a little bit dragon-like rather than angel-like. I don't know, but I like them either way. Hope you guys do too. And they are really quite simple despite them looking a little bit complicated, maybe. And we're going to start at the back here and we're going to build this uh, H shape. And then you can see the stone bricks form essentially three lines. One up here and then one down to the middle of the wing and then one defining the outside of the wing. And then once we've got those three in, we're going to fill in the uh, stuff in between, which in this instance is the cobble. So on the back of our statue, we're going to start here with a stone brick. Where this cobble is, we're going to pop one in there and then two each side like so. Now on this video, I'm just going to do one wing. Obviously, you're just going to mirror that exactly to the other side. Uh, you can pop in uh, two down either side. We sort of make a a H shape if you like there and that's where things start. So then to start making these wings we're going to go here and go one up and one out and then take that out there and then we're going to go one out this way and then two more up like that take that out. So that's uh, where we're starting with here and then we're going to go uh, diagonally one back and one across. So if we go one, two and then place that there we can take those out like that you see see what i mean like that diagonal and then that's going to go three up like that then off the back of that we're going to do another diagonal move so one and then two and then put your block in like that so we're going one more diagonally backwards and this one's going to be a three as well like that and then just to finish off to the point we're going to go straight in front of this block and one up take that out and then make it up to two like so and that's the first of our three lines done so our next line starts here and what we're going to do is we're going to pop a block in there and then come out one to the side and then get rid of that like that. So we're essentially we're starting down this line instead of this line now. And then we're going to come under here and do one out and then take that out. This is going to go down five like, ooh, like that. That's five. And then on the same row, we're going to take it one down and one out and take that there and this time we're going to go down six so that's four five and six like so and then this is going to start curving back in so we're going to do another one of these diagonal moves here so uh, one there one there and then one there and then we can take those out like so you can see these uh, diagonal moves that we're doing here this one's going to be four down like that then we're going to do another diagonal move like that take those out and that's going to be two and then we're going to do a diagonal one like that and one more diagonal one like that and that is our second line you see how it curves inwards back in towards the back and for our last line out on the far edge we're going to come in here first and put one here like that and then we're going to go diagonally out like that and then take them out that's going to be too long and then we're going to do a diagonal move and do three two three and then one more diagonal move like that and this one's going to be six long four five and six now finishing this off is really simple we're going to do diagonal moves backwards in towards the back again you can see how that one has moved in that way well this one's going to move in the same direction so uh, from the back here we're gonna go in here and do a diagonal like that and we're gonna do four there we go and then another diagonal here and that's going to be a three then we're gonna do a diagonal take those out and do two and then we're gonna do 
just like we did on this one, we're going to do two ones. So just like that, that's one diagonal and two diagonals. So this is the shape that you end up getting. That's our full scaffold. We just need to fill these wings in and we're done. And to show you how we fill these in, we're going to just do layers. You can see how we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven layers here that we can do. We can look at it from the back and we're going to start here on this long six. We're going to do six and then a four of, of carpal. So let's go over to our half finished one here. So on this six, the longest outside one, we go two, three, four, five, six. And then in the middle, we do a four like so. So that's our first layer done. So now we're doing this layer here and we're going to start here on this three and we're going to go one, two, three, and then one more down. So that's four there. We'll go to the bottom here and we'll go one, two, three, four, five up like that. So you have that. And then we're going to come back here, count two down and then the next one there. So you've got a two gap and then here and come all the way down right the way past here. And we're going to stop here with two extra to go so you can see the shape that that makes there. Our third layer here is equally simple. We can start here and do a four down which neatly fills that gap there. Then we're going to go down to the bottom here and we're going to go five up just like we did last time. Three, four, five and then we're going to fill in this. We're going to just leave one gap and start there and go all the way up until oops until that gap is closed there now we've done one two three we're on layer four here so we are going to come on top of this here and do six upwards four five six which should match nicely there and then underneath on the same one we're going to go down five and then we're going to do go down three like that Layer five is slightly more complicated, I think, but not too much more. We're going to come in here. So we've done that layer. So we're doing this layer now. So we come in underneath the stone brick there and we're going to pop two in Ooh, one, two. And then here we want to go out here like that. And we're going to go all the way down until we touch the stone brick there. You see, just like that there. And we can fill this in here with five like that. Then we're going to come underneath and do three. And then what we want is one. So we're going to go well, like that and then take that out. You see how we've got one sitting there. Two more layers to go. And we're going to do this one here now. And we're going to start actually attached to that there. So we're going to go down seven. So that's two, three, four, five, six, and seven like that. And at this point, we're going to come one out like that. So we can do that and then take that out. And then this one comes down five like that. We're going to tuck one in underneath that there. And just to finish off down here, we're going to go off that last stone brick and put, put one on top. And then we've got one layer left. And it is absolutely the simplest layer. We're just going to come underneath here in the last stone brick. And we're going to go two, three, four, just like that. And that joins us up. So then we can see that curves down naturally there from the back to the bottom of that spine. And that's it. Once you've done it one side, you're going to just mirror it the exact opposite uh, on the other side. And that is your uh, complete statue done. Well done if you got this far. Uh, it's looking great, but I think we can still make an improvement. Now, I did say we would show you some variations so that you don't just have to rely on the stone. You can, of course, change things up for yourself. But just to give you a bit of inspiration, I thought I'd make a few variations myself. Before we have a look at them, though, I would really love to ask you to uh, subscribe. We are less than 50 subscribers away from hitting the thousand mark. Yes, there are only 49 tickets to the thousand club left so grab them while they're hot guys uh, and i would appreciate that but let's have a look now at some of our variations so here we can see here's the standard one uh, the second one i tried out here was a sort of sandstone prismarine you'll notice that where we have some variations of stone between the stone the stone brick the andesite and the cobble here uh, they broadly just correspond to a different kind of block so you can see i've swapped the cobble for the prismarine and the stone brick for the dark stone dark prismarine there so uh, generally speaking, you can go off what kind of blocks there and change them. So there's the sandstone and prismarine with a little bit of bling at the top. I couldn't resist that. Um, and then we've got the, the quartz statue, a very classical looking 
uh, with a little bit of the trying to get a little bit of subtle detail in with the chiseled in there but it's mostly smooth I have to say uh, and then we've got the uh, blackstone variety very imposing uh, would look fantastic uh, with a homemade nether fortress uh, or alternative a, a second uh, nether theme here I love this block this nether warp block I don't know why it's so vivid and cool and I thought it went really well to, to make that sort of dress feel with the darker tones on the top uh, a little variation uh, there using the stone brick uh, the the nether brick sorry the red nether brick for the head uh, you will notice that when you're picking your own blocks if you want to try your own designs for the head because it has stairs you have to pick a block variety that has a stair variety to it so uh, you know prismarine quartz uh, and then you can see there the red nether brick here we've got uh, uh, a red sandstone version again looking for um, blocks that have the stair variant there uh, with again I tried going for something a little bit different tried the gold wings not sure how I feel about them but I don't know maybe flexing a little there if you're in a survival world that looks nice you can imagine uh, a few rows of them again you could do the gold wings on like the gold on the quartz or the gold on the blackstone have have fun if you want to really show off your material resources we've got a wooden one as well I think maybe this is my least favorite of the selection I don't know see what you think guys Put, comment in below and tell me which one you think uh, looks best out of these uh, I've tried again with the copper I probably should have uh, used the waxed versions uh, originally the wings had slightly more aged uh, variations for those three veins uh, but as I've been building away these have been changing color and are gradually getting to their most weathered state but that, maybe that's a, a look that you like to go for gives a bit of signs of age to them uh, went all out crazy with some of the new uh, nether blocks on this one I quite enjoyed this one I love this block here is it crimson hyphae uh, I love how it just subtly kind of shimmers uh, and I couldn't resist putting in some overgrowth on this one uh, with that lovely uh, turquoise uh, there uh, with the wood again uh, went for a slightly different color on the head I thought that just made it pop a little bit I'm not sure it would have looked quite the same had we gone with that same turquoise color uh, so a little bit of variety and then of course last one we have the ruined angel uh, I don't think you could have statues without thinking of ruined temples ruined churches whatever uh, so I've, I've snapped off a wing here and just let it fall to the ground obviously I've had to do a bit of rejigging to make it look roughly still the same shape only collapsed into the floor and we've added some debris uh, in there changed some to the stairs instead of the full blocks to make it look like it's uh, uh, all smashed up we've added a bit more of the mossy and the cracked stone down here and of course all of the overgrowth and cobble there I quite like that one um, it's a bit more low-key but I had fun building that that was certainly the most challenging of the 10 to come up with I think uh, guys I hope that's giving you some ideas for your own worlds uh, if there's anything else you'd like to see me have a go at uh, and give you a hand with uh, build wise don't forget to leave a comment and I will consider every single suggestion but for now guys that's it if you've made it this far well done I hope you've enjoyed this and we will see you in the next one